Hi, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I want to answer the question that my, that if your chlorine level is too high, what can you do? Well, my first question is, um, what do you mean by too high? Normally, uh, home pools, you want to keep your range between one and a half to three and a half parts per million. Now, your chlorine level will not automatically increase. If anything, it's going to decrease through the, through the pool use and sun and heat and backwashing and topping off of the water with, with fresh water. Uh, chlorine levels do not increase without something being added to it, namely chlorine. So it could be that you're overusing chlorine, that you're over, overusing your trichlor tabs. Maybe you can back off on that, back off on the chlorine use. Now, let's say that your chlorine is a bit too high. It's maybe seven, eight parts per million. Um, what can you do? Well, one thing, it will come down naturally uh, through the sun and, and the heat. Uh, that will chew up the chlorine. Also, you can filter and backwash a couple times and top it off with fresh um, uh, water. You can also, if, if you have a sand filter or a DE filter, you can put your multiport valve uh, to waste, drop a little bit of water and fill it back up again. But however, if you do that or if you plan on backwashing and filling up with fresh water, you may dilute the other chemicals as well, especially if you drop maybe a third of the water because you just have to swim. So um, I wouldn't suggest that, that you do that. Now another way you can do it is a product is called theosulfate or thiosulfate depending upon the part of the country that you're in. I call it theosulfate. This is a chlorine neutralizer. Um, this is really a last resort. I had to use this uh, when I would shock the pool at the YMCA and if you don't put in the right amount in the right way it can really mess up your readings so you only want to use theosulfate as a last resort your best option is just to watch how much chlorine you're putting in be sure you're putting in the right amount for your size pool let it come down naturally it will in a few days and then you can go swimming again so uh, th that's about it. Ch please check out the description below. It has a link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. So I'm Robert with this channel, Clean Pool and Spa. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, that's about it. Be safe and happy swimming. Bye.